Welcome to the Staff Sergeant Glen H. Inglis Jr. Army Education Center. This is your ETS Education Benefits Brief. Mask or face coverings are required for the duration of your visit. If you can present a fully vaccinated card, you may elect to not wear a face covering. Please maintain six feet social distancing. The purpose of this brief, to discuss the following benefits for separating service members. Montgomery GI Bill. Post-911 GI Bill Chapter 33. Veterans Readiness and Employment. State Benefits. Additional funding to include scholarships and grants. Montgomery GI Bill Qualifications. Have you enrolled and paid at $100 a month for the first year of your enlistment? Will you use your Montgomery GI Bill completely within 10 years after ETS or separation? Have you completed at least two years of active service? Montgomery GI Bill. Options and Choices. Payments are paid directly to the veteran. Benefits are paid after each month of school is completed. You will generally receive payment within two weeks of verifying your enrollment at the end of the month or within one week of using direct deposit. Army College Fund. This program was suspended on March 16, 2012. However, service members who enrolled prior to this suspension are still serving. It is an educational entitlement earned by soldiers who serve on active duty. The Army College Fund, which is linked to the Montgomery GI Bill, is an enlistment incentive option, which must be included in a soldier's initial enlistment agreement. The Army College Fund is an enlistment incentive option designed to aid in the recruitment of highly qualified soldiers for critical or shortage military occupational specialties. The Army College Fund supplements the basic Montgomery GI Bill entitlement. You may elect to use your Montgomery GI Bill benefits for vocational flight school. The Buy-Up Program if you are an eligible active duty service member, the GI Bill Buyer Program can help you get up to an extra $150 a month added to your standard Montgomery GI Bill pay rate. This could increase your total benefits by as much as $5,400. The program lets you make additional contributions in $20 increments up to $600. Each $20 contribution results in $180 increase to your total 36-month GI Bill benefit. Apprenticeship on-the-job training, paid directly to the individual. First six months, $1,159.50. Second six months, $1,167.10. Remainder of training, $742.70. If you enlisted prior to August 2011, if you fully exhaust your Montgomery GI Bill benefits, you may apply for an additional 12 months of post-911 GI Bill. To apply, visit www.va.gov forward slash education forward slash apply. Montgomery GI Bill Active Duty Benefits, Institution Benefits, paid directly to you. Full-time enrollment, $2,122. Three-fourths time, $1,591.50. One-half time, $1,061. Less than one-half time but more than one-fourth time, $1,061. One-fourth time or less, $530.50. The $600 Buy-Up Program. With a $600 contribution, you can get up to an additional $5,400. Get DD Form 2366 from an education counselor. Montgomery GI Bill Active Duty Benefits. Montgomery GI Bill Benefits Apprenticeship on the Job Training. First six months of training, $1,591.50. Second six months of training, $1,167.10. Remainder of training, $742.70. Correspondence and flight programs. Entitlement charge at the rate of one month for each $1,722 paid. Post-911 GI Bill Chapter 33. The Post-911 GI Bill is the most frequently used VA education benefit. If you've served three years of active duty or greater, after September 10, 2001, you qualify for the Post-911 GI Bill. For public school, all tuition and fee payments for an in-state student, private or foreign school, up to $26,042.81 per academic year. National maximum. Monthly housing allowance. The monthly housing allowance MHA is generally the same as military basic allowance for housing, BHA, for an E5 with dependents based on the zip code of the school. Students taking 100% of their courses online are eligible for monthly stipend equal to half of the national average stipend, which is currently up to $871. You must be training at greater than one-half time training to receive monthly housing allowance. 
prorated amount above one half time training. The Post High Living GI Bill Book Stipend. Annual book stipend up to $1,000 a year with the Post High Living GI Bill. Paid proportionately based on the number of credits taken by each student at $41.67 per credit hour. The VA assumes a full time student takes 24 credits over two semesters, fall and spring, so the $1,000 benefit is spread over those 24 credits. Post High Living GI Bill Chapter 33 Apprenticeship and On the Job Training Rates. First six months of training, 100% of your applicable MHA. Second six months of training, 80%. Third six months of training, 60%. Fourth six months of training, 40%. Remaining pursuit of training, 20%. On the job and apprenticeship training will pay a monthly benefit amount prorated based on the time and program and up to $83 per month for books and supplies. Post 9-11 GI Bill Yellow Ribbon Program for Veterans, Institutions of Higher Learning, Degree-Granting Institutions of the United States, Fund Tuition Expenses that Exceed Either the Annual Maximum Cap for Private Institutions or the Resident Tuition and Fees for a Public Institution. The institution can contribute up to 50% of those expenses and VA will match the same amount as the institution. Only veterans or dependents under transfer of entitlement at the 100% benefit level qualify. Post 9-11 GI Bill Chapter 33 Other Benefits Flight Program Net cost not to exceed $14,378.35 per academic year Correspondence Training Net cost not to exceed $12,227.58 per academic year Licensing and Certification The maximum reimbursement amount is $2,000 Entrepreneur Training National Testing Program Allows reimbursement of fees paid to take national exams used for admission to an institution of higher learning. SAT, ACT, GMAT, and LSAT. Non-degree programs, $25,162.14. Chapter 30 is refundable if military member or veteran exhausts their post 11 GI Bill benefits by attending school for the entire time they are authorized and must be receiving the housing allowance associated with the post 11 GI Bill. post 11 GI Bill Chapter 33, what you can qualify for, tuition and fees, monthly housing allowance, book stipend, yellow ribbon, a spouse cannot get the monthly housing allowance or yellow ribbon benefit if the sponsor is still on active duty. Veteran Readiness and Employment, VRNE, provides the following services. Comprehensive rehabilitation evaluation to determine abilities, skills, interests, and needs. Vocational counseling and rehabilitation planning. Employment services such as job-seeking skills, resume development, and other work readiness assistance. A veteran must have VA service-connected disability rating of at least 20% with an employment handicap or rated 10% with a serious employment handicap. Veteran Readiness and Employment VRE. Veteran Eligibility Criteria. Basic period of eligibility with VRE benefits may be used is 12 years from the latter of the following. Veteran's date of separation from active military service. Date VA first notified a veteran that they have a compensable service connected disability. A service member must have VA service connected disability rating of at least 20% or obtain a referral to a physical evaluation board. Veteran Readiness and Employment VRE provides the following services assistance finding and keeping a job including the use of special employer incentives, on-the-job training, apprenticeships, and non-paid work experiences, financial assistance for post-secondary training at a college, vocational, technical, or business school, up to 48 months, state benefits, states with veteran tuition waivers, Connecticut, Massachusetts, Rhode Island, New York, West Virginia, Alabama, Florida, Indiana, Illinois, Texas, Utah, Wyoming, Minnesota, Montana, South Dakota, Wisconsin. Additional funding factors. Free application for federal student aid, FAFSA, a form completed by current or prospective college students to determine their eligibility for student financial aid, grants, need-based money without repayment, scholarships, merit or performance-based money without repayment, work-study, need-based campus jobs, earnings go toward tuition and fees, student loans, fixed low interest rate money that must be repaid. This concludes your mandatory ETS Education Benefits Brief. Thank you for your service and congratulations on your transition. Stay tuned for an education counselor.